Hi guys. Um, okay, so it's been so long since I've last did a video or a vlog or anything like that. So, so sorry about that. But um, your yeah, life on the side has been a little bit hectic, a little bit crazy and a lot to catch up on with you guys. Um, so first things first, I am starting a new job, freelance kind of creative job. Um, I guess I'll tell you more like as, a, as I go but I just thought that um, I'll take you along with me today because today is kind of like a full day of shooting and um, creating content and so yeah I thought I'd just have to take you along with my, me on the day and then the other reason why I've been so quiet is just because we've been organizing life and um, we're moving in like eight days so there's just been a lot of um, back and forth kind of happening with what's going on there man and just another thing i've learned is that you know videoing and vlogging and creating having content all the time is it's honestly so so hard um and also just you know obviously being around my family um that aren't necessarily uh video type of people so it's not just easy to like bring out the camera and um you know just start filming so it's just been trying to navigate that we've had family um staying with us um so that's been um just interesting to navigate as well and also obviously me trying to you know just kind of wanting to come up with quality content i've never for you guys who know me over on instagram you know that i don't want to just create content for the sake of creating content and just have something but then it's actually not that great um and i think that's maybe a little bit of the perfectionist like creative side of me that just wants everything to be perfect anyway i'm gonna stop rambling now and i'm gonna drive and i will see you guys when i get there and i will hopefully film some of the behind the scenes of what i'm getting up to um and i'll check in with you guys later see you now Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, so it's been a couple of days since we last chatted. I think the last time was on Wednesday morning. Um, where I took you along kind of on my day and what I kind of get up to in the day and my new job that I'm doing now. Um, honestly, like I am enjoying it so, so much. Um, it's really been such an awesome shift just for my mental health and just kind of having a purpose again. And, you know, obviously like with freelancing and being in lockdown, it's been pretty tough. Um, I've had like you know jobs here and there but nothing consistent where every single day i've been doing something um which has been awesome because i have been able to concentrate on you know my brand tailored heart a little bit more but at the same time like there was just a lot of gaps in between where honestly that like, there just wasn't enough to do and i really really need that drive i need like a purpose in my each day to doing something that's like important to me so honestly this job has just been like the best thing yeah anyway so i thought today i would just also take you along with me on what i'm going to do today i am working from home today um me and my husband we only have one car so we kind of have to navigate that those type of things um but you know we've, we just make it work and it's it's awesome um so today i'm working from home and um i have quite a few things that i need to get done so i will after this just kind of do a little montage of what i get up to and kind of just explain what it is i do in the day and then another thing that i guess i have been doing trying to do a little bit every day haven't been doing it but i want to try is um i've been needing to pack because we're moving yeah and it's it's a bit of a you know it's a like a sad happy situation because we really didn't want to move um we happy where we are um, but unfortunately the owner is selling and um, we're not, not in that position yet to buy but we definitely want to buy we just felt like during lockdown it was just everything was super rushed and we didn't want to feel rushed into buying a place and buying a place that like is going to be ours so we thought okay we'll rent for another year and then in this time um, 
look for you know possibly buying our first place together which would be so so awesome um but yeah so we are moving next week today's friday the um 23rd i think it is and um yeah we're moving next week friday so yeah it's gonna be crazy um i'm the biggest procrastinator and so i'm obviously leaving the packing till the last minute you know but it will be done and um by friday we will be moving out and in a new entering like a new chapter and so that's why it is kind of it's still cool like we're sad we're moving out of this place but at the same time i love change and i love just kind of you know building something new and kind of decorating the new house and that kind of thing so um that's going to be cool to show you guys and i'm really excited about that but yeah let me take you guys along with me today and i'm going to show you what i get up to and then i will check in with you guys later okay bye to show you guys the state of the packing situation this is like our office area i know it doesn't really look like we're moving but uh these are the few boxes that i have packed um they're not even like taped up or anything because i'm just scared i might still need to pack more stuff in them and then we still have to like build all of these boxes um yeah so it's kind of a lot to do still um then I just thought I would show you the rest of the house. It's kind of like a mess and my husband would probably be like so upset that I'm even showing you guys this, but it doesn't really look like we're moving and we're moving in like five days, but um, it's gonna happen. Like I said before, like I, I procrastinate and I just, I'll make sure it's done. So I thought I'd just show you guys a little bit of the house because now that we're moving, we're not gonna be here anymore. So, um. I just thought I would show you. This is like a little bit of like an outside area. Um, please excuse everything just kind of being all over the place. Um, a little outside area. And then that's the office that I showed you now. Um, and this is our beautiful new couch that we just got. Um, it's kind of, it's funny because we just got this couch and now we're moving. So we have to literally take it out again. And it was such a mission to like just get it into the house. But anyway um yeah and then this is our long passageway like i said guys this house is um it's a flat but it's huge um it's got a little linen closet yeah and like three bedrooms down this way so this is uh one of the spare spare bedrooms nothing in it right now i mean yeah pretty much that a bed um yeah, we would kind of have people over when we were allowed to have people over. People would come and stay with us. And then this is the second spare bedroom. When I say spare bedroom, I just because there's only two of us living here. So um, it's got the best light in the house. Do my hair and makeup and all of that stuff. Cupboards and then obviously the view and uh, our beautiful dirty window. That's our bedroom, but I won't show you guys that now because we kind of are in there still. So just for a little bit of privacy, <laughs> I will just keep that a bit of a mystery. Um, and then we walk down the passageway again and um, that's me. Um, separate toilet, bathroom through there. It's really nothing special. It's just a very old bathroom and we're kind of happy because the new house that we're moving into has like a bit more of a modern kitchen and a bathroom. Uh, kitchen, that's like a really big mess right now. You know, just real life. Um, and then through here is our like laundry area, which has all our laundry and also isn't clean. So yeah, so that's my house. Um, 
we have been here for we've been a part of this house's journey for about seven or eight years now so it's really sad that we have to move out and it's like an end of an era hey guys okay so we're in the new place a few days have gone by now um we have yeah unpacked everything and my gosh like the last couple of days have been so crazy um just climbing we're on the third floor and our last apartment was also on the third floor <clears throat> so yeah we've just been climbing stairs literally for like two or three days and my body is so so sore but it's fine it was all worth it and now we're in our new place and so i thought i would just show you guys around um a lot of you guys said over on instagram that you really wanted to see a little bit of a tour so i'm gonna do one for you um also just disclaimer we've just moved in um yesterday uh so everything's still a little bit i mean it it looks pretty good for just moving in but um, yeah, nothing's like styled like the way I would want it. And there's a lot of things, but I'll obviously explain that in, in the next clip. But um, yeah, I hope you like it. And yeah, let's get straight into the video of the tour. Okay, so this is basically where I'm standing now is the front door. And this is the view that you would see as you enter the house. Um, this is just kind of like a little, I don't know, area to put your keys, check yourself out before you coming and going out of the house. Um, it's just like a little entryway that we've kind of created and then that's the passageway over there and then we'll go over to this side we have like an office area um, obviously just disclaimer everything is still um, not exactly the way we want it we literally just moved in yesterday so um, yeah obviously we're still going to be putting everything in its place but for now this is kind of the area so yeah this office area is just going to be where we work or um, just chill, go and play games there. Um, yeah, and then we go over to the lounge. This is the lounge area. Um, absolutely love how it's kind of turned out. This is our new couch that we got, for those of you who haven't seen. Um, yeah, this obviously this is like morning time now, so it gets morning sunlight, which is really, really awesome. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, everything is kind of just like put like plants on the windowsill and just kind of things everywhere, but, um, yeah, I'll style it at another time. Um, and then we're on the third floor, so we are literally up in the trees, which is really, really awesome. Um, and then we've got like our dining area and then that is the front door over there. Yeah, so it's quite a nice lounge, big lounge area. And then we go out into our balcony, which is where all our little plant babies are. Um, yeah, and we're gonna sort this out, make like a little seating, outside seating area here. Um, just make it like a nice garden. And then as you come out here, yeah, it's like the complex gardens, which is like honestly so beautiful. Um, yeah, we really love it. And then you come through the lounge and you walk down the passageway again, and then you're gonna get the kitchen. So here's the kitchen. Um, it is a little bit um, standing on its head at the moment, but as you walk in, um, there's like a pantry over there. This is gonna be our coffee station. So yeah, we'll make that look much nicer. Nice, lots of cupboard storage on this side. And then a nice uh, a bin. I know it's like something so small, but like the bin is hidden and in our old place. It was never like that. So we're just grateful for that. Um, I'll show you out there now, but that's the outside view. And this is the counter and the rest of the kitchen, which is honestly, it's just yeah, such a dream for us because our old kitchen was such an old fashion kitchen and just like everything wasn't working we never had an oven like it didn't work and now we have an oven and a stove and it's, and it's gas so that's even better um yeah so there's lots of cupboard space and yeah everything's just in exactly my color palette which was kind of like what made me want this house is that the kitchen was really nice and um had lots of light so obviously these all open up but we just closed them now because it just kind of gives a little bit more privacy and honestly this kitchen gets super hot because the sun comes in the day and yeah it gets so hot it's like a sauna in here <laughs> so yeah just keep the blinds down it kind of helps with that and then that's kind of our 
view from the kitchen, which is honestly so beautiful. Um, yeah, really love that. And that's the complex, which is, don't want to see that. Um, and then this is the back door. So we'll use this for, yeah, when, you know, Guillaume goes cycling, you can just put his bike there. Um, kind of put like, when we do washing and stuff, fold our washing there. And then just boring stuff, there's our washing machine. Unfortunately, there isn't a washing room like our old place, but you know, this will do. Um, and yeah, we're just so grateful for um, just being able to find this place. Obviously, yeah, I really want to put like nice artwork. I've just kind of randomly put my stuff there, but yeah, I want to put like nice artwork up and just make it feel more homey. And as you come out the kitchen, you go into the spare room. Like I said, it's a bit messy, but bear with me. Um, walk into the spare room. This is what it looks like. And then nice built-in cupboards over here. Which is really cool. Very high ceilings. Um, and then this window kind of looks out onto the balcony, which is really great. And this weird thing about this house, every house has their weird things. And obviously we're renting, so there's a lot of things we can't actually do. But um, there's like TVs in the rooms and they don't like have aerials or whatever. So they're just going to be there, which is kind of random. And I'm trying to figure out like a, a creative way to possibly cover them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do that. And then another thing that we I really don't like in the house is that every single room has these chandeliers. Look, I love the ceiling rose, it's really pretty, but the chandelier for me is just not really my style. A lot of you might like it and that's awesome, but yeah, that's just something we also couldn't change because the owner of the place really, really loves it. Um, and you walk out of the second room and that's just another linen closet, which is really awesome. High ceilings, so there's lots of space. And then you go into your right and this is the guest bathroom over here. So again, really nice tiles, very modern, but also again with the very um, awesome doorknobs. Yeah, I just, as you, you guys that know me know that that's not really my thing, but um, you know, you just gotta deal with it when you're renting a place. Um, yeah, the ceiling's pretty cool, um, but yeah, besides that, we do love the bathrooms. The shower's really nice. It's modern. Um, so yeah, I mean, can't complain. I mean, even this mirror is just like super, um, yeah, just not my, my thing, but it's okay. <laughs> um, and then opposite the bathroom is our bedroom. So you walk in, boxes, and you come to our bed area. And also we want to do something here because um, I don't really want to have a window above my bed so there is like these hooks on each side I don't know if you guys can see but someone obviously also had a similar idea before this and they put something over the window so I'm kind of trying to do the same thing because then we can kind of have a headboard um, to yeah just to, for it to be a little bit you know just nice to be able to like lean up against if you want to like have breakfast in bed or whatever the case is um, because there is like this amazing window here, which lets a lot of light in, so we don't really need that other window. And then there's our beautiful TV that we're not going to be using. Um, yeah, and then this is, again, the view from the window. Just plants and then the rest of the complex. Um, and then, kind of my favorite part about the house is our kind of walk through robe and bathroom. So you kind of walk through here. Yeah, and then this is my side of the cupboard, which is really oh, all the space that I've ever wanted. Um, perfect little shoe rail. Probably the neatest my cupboard's gonna probably look, <laughs> but maybe I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try and keep it keep it neat. Um, yeah, and then there's just like nice shelving spaces, and I'm gonna definitely just be yeah, trying to make this area like just really pretty. But for now, I just like put everything just out to unpack it. And then there's a lot of drawers, which is really great. And then you go into the bathroom, which is again, met with two chandeliers. <laughs> it's very extra, guys. 
Um, but a nice storage over here, a nice mirror, but then also it like opens up to some nice storage. So you don't really have to have everything like, you know, sitting on your cupboard. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. And then you go from here into the bathroom kind of area with the toilet, really nice big bath um, and just lots of light and then a really cool shower, just, you know, normal shower. And then back out into the room. So guys, that's my apartment tour. Um, yeah, honestly, we're so, so happy with like just being here and you know, being able to like unpack and make it more homey and I'm gonna have so much fun like just decorating and stuff like that. Um, yo, let me know if you guys want to see that type of thing. Um, I'm really, obviously it's gonna take time and you know, we obviously spent like money obviously getting this place and whatever, so now we're like broke. <laughs> but um, you know, along the, the way, um, I wanna like go room by room and really just make um, each room just special and unique and um, more to our style. So um, let me know if you want to see that type of thing. I can definitely do more of that. But for now, this is kind of our house tour. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below, like what's your favorite part of the house. And um, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.